Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of May. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, what do we got for May? Hmm. Ooh, I'm not sure if you guys are getting out of a relationship. i got to be honest, I hate to say it, but there could be some arguing going on. No, there could be some unhappiness. Somebody could be involved in a third-party situation. They're deciding that this union isn't worth it. I'm just being honest with you. I mean, uh, ooh, the sun, this is healing. This is happiness. This is extreme bliss. Some of you could be healing from a third-party situation. There could have been a breakup, and you're healing. Maybe you're finding happiness after a breakup. There's a breakup here, whether it's happened already or not. We do have a breakup here. Unhappy union. Unhappy union. Healing. Mm, somebody's reluctant to move on. The Six of Swords reverse. That's reluctance, that is. It's reluctance to, you know, bring peace and happiness back to your life. This is reluctant to let go. Mm. Juggling. You know, you need to take that next step. Change is scary. You have to make a choice. What do you want? You may have to choose between two different people. You may have to choose between two different options, whatever it is, two different avenues for sure. Or you could be dealing with a juggler. You could be dealing with a person that's dealing with two people. You could be in a third party situation. I'm, i I got to be honest with you. Somebody is dealing with a juggler, whether it's you or the other person. Four of Swords Reverse. This is needing to come out of stagnation. Taking a new approach. Needing to, you know, let go of that old thing and stand up and go after happiness. Ooh, holding on to a dead end, Scorpio. And it's getting old. So somebody's holding on to a dead end and it's getting cold, getting old. Death of an idea right here. And this is the death. So you guys, it's like holding on to something that is no more. Interesting. Reluctant to move on. Blocking. This is blocking. Not moving forward. Blocking your new life. Blocking your happiness. Somebody is blocking their own happiness by hanging on to a dead end. Don't know their worth. We got somebody here don't know their worth. Doesn't want to accept the pain, okay? Doesn't want their new life. This is the birth of a new life. And then I just said a new life. Blocking happiness. Blocking their new life. I'm telling you what. We got somebody here blocking their new life. Blocking their abundance. Blocking their growth. It's like it's time of growth. It's a time of healing. But we have this person here that is not knowing how beautiful they are and how much they're worth and holding on to this dead end then reluctant to move on because they think it makes them happy but I don't feel like there's any communication coming in from whoever this person is or any forward movement or any victory and success wherever you're holding on to is probably dealing with another person wherever you're holding on to they probably got two options whether it, or you got two options, it could go vice versa. Somebody has two options here. And somebody doesn't know their worth. That's for damn sure. Oh, God. This is being taken advantage of, acting recklessly, being naive, the fool reverse. We got somebody here that's, that's being naive. 
naively holding on to a dead end because they don't know what they're worth. The Empress Reverse, this is somebody whose ego and pride, you know, she, you gotta think about this, she's the counterpart of the Emperor. She is ruled by ego. Ego, fueled by ego. Her ego, she does have one. She's very controlling. She's very wise, but not in reverse. She's not in, in reverse. She's easy. She gets herself involved in third-party situations because she, she doesn't know her worth. So I don't know if that's you or the person that you're dealing with, but this person in reverse is very smothering, very selfish, very self-centered. So I don't know if you're dealing with this person or if you're taking it. We have somebody here that is not being very wise, put it that way. The Empress reversed is not being very wise. And I happen to be a Taurus, so I know exactly who she is. So we got a person here that is not being very wise by holding on to a dead end situation and not moving on. And it's because they lack faith. They're letting fear get in the way. Pride and ego is big here too. I think whoever it is that they're holding on to, there's not any forward movement. And it's like you may be dealing with a player. You could be dealing with a player. Your challenge is making a de decision, making a choice. Do you want to keep playing this game or not? Can you remove this obstacle? Can you stop? Somebody's lying to themselves. The Eight of Swords reverse. Can you know the eights are the time is now? We got to somebody is needing to move forward right now. Step outside of their comfort zone, but they're not seeing it clearly. Right now, we got somebody who's holding on to a dead end because they don't know their value and you need to you need to take a new approach you need to step out of your comfort zone you need to stop being naive you're probably hoping that there's going to be a resurrection there's going to be a rebirth but it's a dead end whatever it is no rebirth no rebirth it's time to heal it's time to be happy. This is crying over the spilled milk when you have a better opportunity. Somebody is going through a breakup or they have gone through a breakup or they're experiencing a breakup and they're still crying over it when there's another opportunity for love here and happiness. But focusing on this dead end is not gonna bring you any reward. There's an opportunity for love here. You know, could be the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is when, where, you know, somebody is probably trying to offer you something. They're probably, want, maybe somebody wants to start something with you. You know, they want you to just give it a whirl and you need to find your ability to refocus and start over. It's time to start over. You may be bored. You may be you may be at a loss because of this dead end. It's time to be practical and realistic. It's time for you to take charge of your life and start over. You have a lot to offer. Don't doubt your value. So we have somebody here that doesn't know their value when they really are valuable and they need to find that backbone to let go of the, stop crying over this dead end, stop focusing on this dead end and, and, and go after happiness. Come out of hiding. Go down that new path. Step outside of your comfort zone. Broaden your horizons. Be more playful. Stop going backwards. Somebody is stuck clinging to control, holding on to something that isn't destiny. 
holding themselves back from happiness, blocking happiness. This is the wheel of change. This is change. Change is needed. Things don't work out for a reason. There's a purpose. So anyway, I feel like you guys are going to be receiving some sort of opportunity. This is a new potential to start a new start down a new path towards happiness. Whether you accept it or not is up to you. Because I see there's a lot of fear. There's somebody here that is being naive. Blocking change by clinging to control. By clinging to a partnership that is... Troublesome. Okay, we got a troublesome relationship here that is just not practical at all. It's time to be practical. Somebody's obsessed. We got somebody here that is obsessed with something that isn't meant to be. They're making the wrong judgment call. Not aware that there's a better opportunity for happiness. I'm just telling you right now that somebody is not aware of the truth. Somebody is not seeing a situation clearly, a few refusing to wake up. It's time for a change. It's time for you to go after happiness. It's time for you to heal for you to heal from this dead end. So maybe this month, what are they gonna do? What is the outcome? The approach. This is the approach. I mean the approach is you guys are too fearful. There's no faith. You don't dare to you don't dare to. The approach is you have somebody that's better suited for you. Somebody that you didn't expect. This is somebody that you don't expect. You can't see them yet. They're in the they're behind the scenes, Scorpio. You got somebody that you don't expect expect that is behind the scenes that is better suited for you. This person does not fit your usual type. They're not your usual match, but it's a match made in heaven. Follow your bliss. Don't let this dead end hold you back, please. You have to make a decision, a choice. There's consequences. This is a card of choice. It's a card of consequences. There's consequences for... Letting your fear hold you back for not taking a risk. I mean, there's consequences for choosing to hold on to the wrong one. Okay? There's consequences for not making the right choice. This is this is karma. Judgment reversed. So that would be negative karma. Not, not reaching your full potential. Not getting... You know, what you are meant to get. You have a destined partner here that is you are destined to be with. But somebody is hindering their own destiny by holding on to a dead end. I don't know who this reading is for. But this is an unexpected choice in love. Some of you may see that there's somebody new. And you have to make a judgment call. Now you have to make a choice. Which one do you want? Somebody could be staying in a relationship because of greed, because of financial aspects. And, you know, maybe they see that there's a, they have a, an attraction outside of the relationship. Because I do see a third party relationship that is much better suited for them. But greed is keeping them back. So this could, there's so many people watching this. It can go so many ways. Somebody is being foolish. By trying to fight the divine plan.
not moving forward. No victory, no success. Somebody's not mastering their emotions very well because they're not moving forward. When they have an opportunity for love here with somebody that is perfect for them, but they're holding on to the wrong one, thinking the wrong one is the perfect one. That one is not the right one. There's a, somebody else. They're blocking a soulmate. You are blocking a soulmate by holding on to a dead end. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. Invest your time and energy someplace else. It's harvest time. It's time for you to receive. It's time for you to go after happiness. So I feel like this month, you know, I don't see you guys moving forward. I don't, I mean, I don't. Somebody has lost their willpower. It's like there's a lack of discipline. But there's a perfect match waiting behind the scenes. I don't know. There is. This is this. There's love. There's love behind the scenes waiting for you, Scorpio. There could be a relationship if you are single coming in. But you may be reluctant to invest in it because of a previous dead end. Anyhow, you need to take a risk. You need to have faith. You need to let somebody love you. There's an opportunity for happiness, extreme bliss with somebody that you didn't expect. This person is not who you think it is. It's not. Let that whoever this new person is love you. Go after happiness. Let go of the dead end. That's my advice to you. I feel as though there's probably some sort of new budding romance right around the corner. As soon as you stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. You're fighting it. So yeah, Scorpio, I mean, that's what I have. I don't think I need to go any further. For May, I feel like you guys are, are going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a decision between two paths, between two people. Whether, whether it's your partner that has two people or you that has two people. Somebody has two people here and somebody has to make a choice between two people. They need to choose whether they are going to move forward into happiness or they are going to stay stuck in a situation based on... Um, an obsession there's an obsession here or financial reasons or whatever the case is somebody's definitely obsessed with the wrong thing and there's something better waiting something more better fit there's a better fit here but somebody is needing to really master their emotions and take the take the high road and they just haven't been able to do it find your mental strength don't be foolish Somebody's juggling. Somebody is juggling two people, whether it's you or the other person. And it's bringing you bad karma, okay? This is bad karma, and this is bad karma. Bad luck, bad karma. So by not moving forward, things are just going to... Because you're not following the plan. You're, you're fighting the universe, you know? So somebody is getting bad luck, and things keep on falling to the wayside and going downhill because you're not doing the right thing. And this, the page of pentacles is where this is a card of finding the moral backbone and the integrity to do the right thing even if it isn't pretty even if it's not glamorous i gotta do the right thing even if it hurts even if i don't want to and uh, if you don't you know you're gonna see these these are you manifest bad luck Anyway, whatever it is, what it is, it's your call. It is your call. But somebody ain't making the right judgment call, hanging on to some sort of obsession that is going nowhere. There's a better opportunity. The consequences is bad luck and karma. Go offer your love to somebody who deserves it. Whatever. Good luck.